What's going on YouTube? Happy Monday everybody. It's Vikings95 here and not a great weekend for my football teams. Iowa State lost and the Minnesota Vikings choked the game yesterday away with turnovers. But it is what it is. It's week one so we are, I hope, still working out uh, the little things and uh, hopefully we can get a little bit better. So we will see but uh, Justin Jefferson I got a card of him in the back still a beast still a stud still one of the top wide receivers if not the top wide receiver in NFL but Tyreek Hill had a day yesterday as well and so I only wish that we uh, we would have kept passing to JJ in the second half because the first half was awesome for him. So anyways we are going Brock Purdy rookie card hunting today. I'm excited. Brock Purdy showed up for the 49ers against the Steelers. Uh, sorry, Steelers fans, but I mean, Brock Purdy was solid at quarterback. CMC, of course, is unreal as well. Uh, but it was fun. It was a fun time watching all the NFL games yesterday. Uh, of course, though, it's always a little bit better when your team wins. So uh, I am right there with, you know, half the teams that came away with a loss. I, I know the pain, but uh, I think this will be a fun little video. We have 2022 Prism Blaster and we have a 2022 Optic Blaster, which uh, the Optic is tough to find now. And let's see, we got the pink parallel, so it's a target one. And uh, we got the red, white, and blue prisms, which would be really cool if we got Purdy. So we will see, but it's going to be fun opening regardless. Uh, I have not, I've had a tough time hitting Brock Purdy rookie cards in any of the like semi-decent, pro like the higher end retail products. Like, you know, prism, optic, mosaic. Um, he's in there, but... I have not been super lucky with it, so we'll see how it goes. And of course, with Optic, we're chasing that very rare downtown as well, which uh, has eluded me out of Optic all of these years. I've never pulled a downtown out of Optic. My one downtown I pulled was from Donruss. Uh, so, I mean, that would be pretty crazy as well. Let's see how it goes, though. Let's start with the Prism Pack and uh, see if we can get any cool rookie cards. All right, Marcus Allen starting us off. Antoine Winfield Jr., D Hop and first one rookie Chris Alave. Okay, that is that is not bad. The Saints. Uh, Derek Carr got the first win. His first one is a Saint yesterday, so that was kind of cool. And uh, Michael Thomas is back for the first time in what seems like forever. Chris Alave was doing well, and uh, Jamal Williams didn't have too much of a day, but cool to see that Alave right there. That's not bad at all. So, all right, Chris Alave. First rookie in the red, white, and blue from Prism. I'm happy with that. We have a Darren Waller, who is uh, now not a Raider, now a Giant. Jerry Sneed. We, oh, look at that. Oh, come on. It's got to be. It's got to be him. We have a San Francisco 49er. Red Hot Rookies, Brock Purdy. And that is who I was chasing. That is beautiful. Brock Purdy with the silver red hot rookies. That is literally, I mean, you know, I think the only thing they probably top that would be a, uh, you know, the optic rated rookie parallel or the hollow or a Brock Purdy downtown. But that is, con that is pretty cool. I am content with that. Red hot rookies. Brock Purdy, the Iowa Stater, Mr. Irrelevant, now starting quarterback, which might be one of the coolest stories in potentially NFL history? I don't know. I mean, obviously, I'm a little bit biased. I'm an Iowa State fan. I watched him during college all those years, and uh, it's really cool to see him get a chance in NFL and succeed with it. So, all right, pack number two of Prism. Jacoby Myers caught two touchdowns yesterday. Devontae Smith, uh, he had a solid game yesterday. We have another red, white, and blue. It's a Steeler, Deontay Johnson, who sadly got hurt yesterday. Uh, as of right now, I'm not, not sure how significant the injury was, but then we got, man, this is going to be a team. Uh, Tyler Algier with him and Bijan Robinson, they had three combined touchdowns, so that's going to be something to, uh, to watch out for. Those guys over in Atlanta. Uh, Bijan Robinson had a nasty play. I'm sure many of you have already seen it, but that was cool. It was fun to watch. Okay. Montez Sweat, Tony Romo, Hollow, not going to be 
rated rookie. It is Patrick Queen with the hollow and an Ikem Ikwonu with the rated rookie behind it. I don't know if I said Montreal Washington before, but we got a Montreal Washington rated rookie. But uh, Patrick Queen with the hollow. All right, we're going to keep it rolling. Prism. Antonio Gates. Scary Terry. Silver. Come on, be a rookie. It's not a rookie. It is a bear. But it's my Iowa Stater, David Montgomery, followed by a George Pickens rookie card, which I don't know if that was just an off game for the Steelers or if the 49ers are just really that good. But uh, it's kind of cool. Dave Montgomery, silver. He is now a lion, but he was an Iowa Stater. And he will always be an Iowa Stater, which is kind of cool. So I'm, I'm pulling my Iowa Staters, which I like. That is, uh, it makes it a little bit more fun for me. Well, let's keep it rolling. We have a Jeffrey Simmons, Optic, Alec Pierce with the Elite Series rookies, and Cowboys, Jalen Tolbert for the Cowboys with our pink, followed by a Carson Strong. So that was a little rookie pack right there. But uh, Jalen Tolbert is going to be the pink parallel rated rookie. We got three left of each. When, uh, really, right now, I, I mean, I think Optic probably is going to win just because of that Purdy Silver. That's sweet. But Brandon Cooks, Terry Bradshaw, Red, White, and Blue, Hassan Haskins. Well, I kind of thought that wasn't going to be a rookie. I thought it was going to be a vet. Uh, followed by a Desmond Ritter. All right. I mean, Prism, this is not a bad box of Prism. Prism can be extremely tough. Getting that Chris Olave is sweet. I'm um, just going to throw that back there. But uh, getting a Desmond Ritter with the Prism is not bad either. Rookie quarterback, I'll take it. Didn't have a bad day yesterday. Um, got the win. So, all right. Optic. Mike Elstott. Rashad Bateman. Come on, Purdy. 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 It's a Bronco. Greg Dolchich, which is also not too bad. And Zamir White. Greg, the I, I can't remember if he was the technically the second string tight end this year, which is kind of weird because uh, I thought he was for sure going to be first string, but um, I can't remember if they moved him up or not. But I know he played yesterday. Uh, the Broncos did lose though, so there's that. Did they? Uh, I think I think they did. Don't quote me on that. Darren Waller, Chris Godwin, Evan McPherson, who I have in my fantasy team, he missed a 51 yarder, and. We have Cowboy Micah Parsons, just a beast on defense with the Micah Parsons red, white, and blue. That's sweet. Uh, I am making this video at the Cowboys halftime where the Cowboys are just absolutely destroying the Giants. So kind of crazy there, but let's continue rolling with the optic. All right, we got a fat card in this one. We got a thick card. We got Leonard Fournette. Right behind it, we have, going to be this way, I think. We have a Mike Williams hollow, and, ooh, look at that. Rookie Phenom, he's suspended for the first, I think, six games. But uh, that is a cool Jameson Williams with the blue hyper. That's, that's sweet. That is a cool-looking card. I actually picked him up in a couple of my leagues because uh, I'm thinking, you know, when he comes back, that could uh, that could could help. I, I have one league I have Jonathan Taylor in where I got him in like the very very late rounds. So we did get a hit out of the optic. I mean that optic box was stellar. Look at that, Jameson Williams and the Brock Purdy. And we have a Mike Williams hollow and a Jeremy Rucker rated rookie. It's all right. One pack left of each. I think Optic clearly wins, unless this is like a silver of like a rookie quarterback or something. I think Optic's got this in the bag. We have Reggie Wayne, Nick Mangold, Red, White, and Blue, Cooper Cup, who is out the first four weeks, and another Greg with the rookie. All right. Not too bad, though. Not too bad of the prison box with the Chris Olave and with the Desmond Ritter rookie. Last optic pack. What can we get? We have a pink. Tyler Lockett. AJ Dillon. Come on. Not the right colors. Eagles. 
Jordan Davis, and a Kair Alam. So we started off really hot with the Optic. We kind of continued with uh, the Jameson Williams, but the parallels were not exactly there. But I mean, look at that. Look at those two bad boys, the Brock Purdy red hot rookies. That is sweet. Very, very cool. Rookie of the former Iowa Stater and the, uh, sad to say, the beast wide receiver. When he plays, he has not played very much yet, though, so who knows. But uh, I think Optic would win this one. I'm happy to have pulled the Brock Purdy. We pulled Dave Montgomery Silver as well, so that's pretty sweet. But uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think of your team after week one. Obviously, it's week one. Things are going to change, but I mean, like Joe Burrow throwing for what, like 80 something yards. That's crazy. I'm sure that's never going to happen again this season, but uh, weird things happen week one. Vikings lost to the Buccaneers. It is what it is at this point, but uh, let me know your thoughts on your team in the comments down below. I am very curious. So with that, I hope everyone has an awesome upcoming week. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you later.